Hello everybody, this is the awesome MCB here, and welcome back to another antivirus review. Now last time we re reviewed MCSoft, and you guys seem to have really enjoyed it, so let's go ahead and switch to AVG. So, of course, we're going to do our same thing with um, um, antivirus versus ransomware, so we're going to go ahead and do AVG. So, of course, we've got this nice little layout, doesn't, it's not really too complicated, just this, you can either do your scammer computer or a deep scan or I mean as well as any right click scan you know just just some of the ba basic stuff so yeah anyway so so everything's already up to date as you can see it says a few seconds ago it's gonna yes yeah, see everything's already up to date nothing's been changed besides of course the PUAs as well as I just disabled this email signature because well I don't know why it doesn't really make a difference for this video but I'm just used to it at this point for some antiviruses so so let's go ahead and just start with the link test I have got five links here just grab these just now let's see how good it handles against it I'm just going to go ahead and just do a small little window here, so just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to slide this. Alright, there we go. So let's copy, let's do a copy and a paste. Hmm, let it run. Damn it, couldn't be downloaded. wonder why. Did AVG block it? Um, I don't know what happened. It doesn't show any logs or anything. Is the link dead? Oh, see, there it goes. So it just wants to do a scan after every single thing it's found, but of course it's not going to allow that. Alright, so it looks like they have theirs different. Let's go ahead and just do the second link now. Just run that. Hmm. Looks like that one was blocked too. That one was blocked as well. That's probably why they don't have a custom message each time for some reason. Ooh, this one's allowed to run. Hmm. So it looks like it was allowed to run. Is it running in? Hmm. Oh, nope, right there. There it goes. So it looks like it was on automatically blocked. And let's do the last one. Hmm. Seems like this link isn't working. That link apparently is dead, so let me go ahead and just quickly grab another. Alright, so I got another one here. Let's go ahead and see if this one will go at all. Okay, that one was allowed to download. Oh, we have a run option. Not seeing anything. Taking action. Oh, and there it goes. Okay, so that was very impressive. I just wish that they had the, uh, just the normal, you know, 
just have it more prompt more quickly besides having them download but for the most part it looks like that they were stopped every single one of them because none of them a couple of them were able to download but it doesn't look like they could do anything because this download folder is completely empty and so yeah okay so um we'll go ahead and just head to the ransomware samples and we'll see if any ransomware can encrypt any of these files i was actually a little bit more prepared this time i got a couple pictures both jpeg and png and a wordpad document and we'll just use the the links as the, the uh, text.txt file so let me go ahead and i'm gonna have to disable the shields and let me go ahead and just go grab all the samples okay so i was able to get all of the malware under the system and we got 98 samples here of course a huge con concentration of ransomware here so um let's go ahead and just do a right click scan Okay, so the speeds of that was pretty fast, I believe, um, compared to uh, last time, but these were automatically moved to quarantine as they were found, so I'm going to say that that was pretty fast because so some stuff doesn't, like, it just scans before it actually does it, but this one did both at the same time, which is very well done. So you've gotten 92 threats secured, but... But I'm seeing, still seeing stuff in the folder here on the desktop. So let's see how, how much we've gotten in. So we still have 10 items, which gives us a detection ratio. Uh, don't worry, I, re I remember the number this time. We have a detection ratio of 89.7%. But if you round that up, that's about 90%, which is pretty impressive because of how, like, you can tell when these fi files were first discovered compared to of what we have today. So, let's go ahead and just, we'll just go ahead and turn on all the shields again. Okay, everything's back up, and what I've noticed now is actually there is a ransomware protection. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just see how good it can do against 10 samples that it's not familiar with. Okay, first it's it sees it. Ooh. Dear. Uh let's see, can we okay, we actually can still access the desktop, but why does it say that files are encrypted? Um Okay, a second now it's gone, so did it actually encrypt it or is this blocking it? Um hold on a second, let's wait for this to load. No problems found. But it then says our PC is encrypted. But is really anything encrypted though is the thing. Um. Hmm. I can't seem to do anything at this point. But it says your PC is encrypted. So how are you supposed to decrypt the files if they don't even give you a decryption hmm quite fishy indeed um can we try alt, alt f4 uh shoot okay um i will be uh right back after of course i i'm gonna have to start up in safe mode and see if i can get rid of or maybe I can just restart. Can I just restart this? Hold on, let me reset the virtual machine real quick. 
Okay, so our desktop loaded up normally, but nothing's really encrypted. Was a startup item created though? Is the thing though? Uh, nope. Just uh, didn't really do anything. Just says your PC was locked, and then it would disappear just like that. Hold on, why is AVG not running? Oh wait, there it goes. Just a s bit of a delay time startup, so... At the end here, we'll send this to Virus Total and see if it's actually malicious in any case. So, let's... I don't think it is, because it's only 12 kilobytes, but... Size doesn't always matter. So, let's go ahead and just wait for a bit, maybe about two minutes, and then we'll reboot, and then we'll do our se the second opinion scanners, which includes Melwarebytes, Hitman Pro, and Zamana. Okay, so all three scans are finished. Melwarebytes didn't see anything, Hitman Pro saw the checking cookies, and I'm wondering at this point during my MCSoft video if... These are the same ones, so next time I might go ahead and run C Cleaner. And um, speaking of C Cleaner, they were recently infected with some malware, so more details will be in the link down below from Leo, Leo from the PC Security Channel. He has a video regarding it, so I'd, I'd recommend go checking that out if you use C Cleaner. And Zamana did not see anything, so my final thoughts I'm impressed actually compared to uh, how much this is actually done so and of course I said I would send to virus total that first one I did send it to virus total but it did say that like it was like it was a piece of ransomware but I'm wondering if AVG blocked it and it looks like it didn't create a startup item either so I'm just just my final thoughts, I'm pretty pr impressed, probably maybe because since Avast is now connected to AVG now, so whenever either of them see it, it they edit both of the signatures, signatures, but I actually still don't know any updates on that, but it's just, yeah, um, well anyway, so I hope you all have enjoyed, and if you have, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button and if you're new to the channel go ahead and click the subscribe button and if and if you are and also click the notification bells to receive notifications to whenever I do these uploads I don't upload as often as I probably should but I don't know that that's up to you guys and